Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. Really appreciate y'all stopping by. And of course, you, you got here just in time. I know a lot of y'all were expecting a visit to Horge Creek Lake this morning. It'll be next week. We got to talk about a few things. I've noticed that a lot of my fellow YouTubers are, are doing kind of what are we doing this year videos. I thought this was airplanes. I, I, I live in the approach path to the, the McKinney Airport. <laughs> so they're always flying low over my house. Which the, the low flat airplanes combined with a couple of other things that I won't go into have led us to making a decision. And a lot of you have, have been aware, if you've been following the channel, a little over a year ago, we bought 10 acres down in Southeast Texas. And our plan was to get down there as soon as possible, but we ran into some hiccups in selling this place. We've gotten most of those obstacles out of resolved and out of the way and we'll be putting this house on the market we don't have we don't have a structure to move into we have an rv so it looks like we may end up doing some full-time rving while we get uh, some things constructed on our land and that is going to change well that's that's going to directly affect this channel and the content that I produce for y'all every Sunday morning. Uh, it's going to be kind of difficult to just drop what I'm doing and go out and explore campgrounds while I'm trying to be a project manager and we got some family stuff going on. So the at least the first part of this year, my camping activities are going to be greatly curtailed from in comparison to past years uh, i've actually not missed a sunday morning video in at least three years maybe longer than that I, I think i missed maybe a week or two when we were moving from in town to out here but i haven't really really missed this time slot and i don't plan on not posting videos just the type of videos that I'm going to be posting are not going to be the the showing you the stuff in campground videos. Some of them I'm going to have to change directions a little bit. And I don't I don't have a plan for any of that. The only thing I have planned so far is Dillo days and hanging out with everyone who's going to attend. Hanging out with you guys. Uh, we are still on track, as a matter of fact. <laughs> I'm speechless. Uh, there's there's one full connection campsite left on as of last night. It's Thursday, so as of Wednesday night, there was only one full connection campsite left in Lake Whitney State Park. Now there's there's still a lot of 30 amp and water sites down by the lake, uh, and there's some primitive campsites right off of the Horseshoe Loop. See, y'all have really just blown my mind with this, this gathering. It's moved beyond just a little meetup. And, and a part of that is because I don't want to just, just, I don't want it to just be a meetup. I want it to be something a little more significant and substantial. And with that in mind, I've reached, I've been inviting other YouTube channels and we've got several other YouTube channels that have committed to being there. Pickles on the Road, Sunset Seekers, RV on the Wayside, The Art of RVing, and there's, there's, I think there's two others. I don't know for a fact. Uh, and if I've missed anybody, please forgive me. 
uh, so, so you're going to have ample opportunity to, to meet some other folks besides just me. I've had a number of conversations with Kent Wenzel of Wenzel's Lone Star Meat. And he set me correct. I can no longer say brats. I've got to say brats. Bratwurst, not bratwurst. He said brats are unruly little children. <laughs> okay. It's, it's food. But anyway, most likely he's not going to be able to attend himself in person. He's got a earlier commitment at a big show somewhere out in West Texas. But he does have someone who is going to be there who's most likely going to be RV camping with us for the whole, for at least Friday and Saturday. Uh, and that, that person, that gentleman, he is a vet. Thank you for your service. And he's going to be providing us with some samples. And there will be the opportunity to make a purchase from Wenzel's Lone Star Meat while they're on location so you don't have to drive all the way to Hamilton or have them shipped. So bring an ice chest. I've committed to buying a hundred dollars worth of bratwurst for myself, cause I'll eat it. I have set up a fundraising event on the YouTube channel on, on Dude RV. Uh, so all the videos associated with this event will have a link to uh, to the Wounded Warrior Project donation site. So you'll be able to make a donation to the, the Wounded Warrior Project. So Kent Wenzel has committed to a donating a portion of proceeds from the event to the Wounded Warrior Project. I'm going to have firewood delivered, at least a cord, if, if it would help me if I knew how many people wanted firewood. Anything over my cost is going to be donated. I'm currently committed to buying one cord. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough if everybody's burning wood. So if you'd kind of give me a, a post in the comment down below, wood, that way I can kind of get a, a head count. That'll help me determine how much I need to order. Uh, I'm thinking I may need to bump that up to two cords. We now have apparel. So on the Teespring shelf below, on the Facebook group, Duders, Duders, Duders.com. On the Facebook page, Duders, I have shared links for the different listings on Teespring for ball caps, t-shirts, big logos, little logos, hoodies, bags, all of that with the, the, the Dillo Days logo that I put together. We're celebrating Armadillo Day, so Dillo Days. I, I want to produce a Benny Hill type video with me doing the scooter run and all of y'all chasing along behind me. And that's going to require several camera operators to catch us as we're going by. Uh, and of course it, it requires your participation to be in the in the chase scene. So if you have a bicycle, tricycle, e-bike, mobility, scooter, make sure you bring that. And Saturday morning, we're gonna gather and make a video. And that will be a standalone video by itself. This is your opportunity to participate in the Dude RV experience. Big opportunity to participate in the Dude RV experience. It's the least I can do. You guys have been giving me this opportunity, so I want to share that with you. So on Sun on Saturday, we're going to make sure you get a good breakfast. We're going to kick off the scooter ride at 10 o'clock. It typically will take about a, it, it usually takes about 20 minutes. Uh, I'm thinking it may take close to an hour since this is a little more than just my usual 
after that, we're going to uh, meet back in the vicinity of campsite number 36, which is my campsite. That's also where the firewood will be. And I've told Kent, Wins of Kent Wenzel that if uh, he has a cooking trailer or whatever, we can set that up in front of my RV so that we're not having to traipse all over. And I think Saturday would be a great day, Saturday noon, for us to do a potluck. So Kent is gonna provide us with some food, but this is not obviously gonna be enough, so let's everybody bring a dish. Um, or two, or, or, or whatever. Uh, bring your grill. We might, the weather's looking really good. Of course, it's a long-term forecast, but it looks like we're gonna be in the upper 50s and in the highs and lows in the upper 40s. <laughs> That's perfect camping weather. But with that being said, make sure you bring some warm clothes too because we're all right. we are in Texas. And having, if you've got a pop-up shelter, might not be a bad idea to have that, but you're gonna wanna bring lawn chairs and tables to eat on. I have a couple of tables, but they're gonna be used for the giveaway stuff. So during lunch, while we're stuffing our face, before, we, before noon, you wanna make sure you get tickets. Uh, I've got, I don't know, I haven't counted. I got a lot of stuff that we're gonna be giving away. It'll, and when you when your ticket's drawn, you'll get to pick. I think that's the simplest way to do it. There, there's a couple more things. So our MC for this Saturday function, this the Dillo Days, the big Dillo Days event on Saturday, our master of ceremonies is our me on the wayside's Donovan. <laughs> Donovan's a funny guy. Uh, I had to I had to. Hold him down. You got to do this, Donovan. But he he gracefully committed. They they they've adjusted their schedule a little bit so that they can come hang out with us and and be the master of ceremonies. This he's got experience with that, and I don't. Uh, so thank you, Donovan. Um, Donovan and I have been brainstorming, trying to come up with stuff for us to do uh, and one of the things that we think would be really cool would be to do a light parade saturday night uh, it's going to be dark it's a new moon so bring your light sticks your glow sticks your christmas battery operated christmas lights let's make a spectacle of it and we'll We'll do the whole horseshoe loop and we'll check out the decorated campsite. So decorate your campsite and let's do a, a, a light parade and see all the lights. That'll be a fun thing for us to do on Saturday night. That was Donovan's idea. So thank you for that idea, Donovan. All right, make sure I've, I've covered all the points we talked about. Wenzel's Lone Star Meat, they're gonna be there. They're gonna, they're gonna provide us with some food. We do have a charity we're working with now, Wounded Warrior Project, uh, and that will be through the, the YouTube. So every YouTube video associated with this event will be, there'll be a link to the Wounded Warrior Project. We'll have firewood available for purchase. Proceeds go to Wounded Warrior. Uh, I need your help to create the, the, the Benny Hillish chase video Saturday morning. We're gonna have a, a light parade Saturday night. What else? I guess that's about it. I'm really excited about this. I, I lay in bed at night just having a hard time going to sleep because it just blows my mind that the, you guys have responded and as you have. I never, I never expected that there would be that many people wanting to come and hang out with me. I'm, I'm honored. Thank you. I think I've been rambling on long enough. I need to go get this video edited and loaded for Sunday. So we'll close it out. And if I think of anything else in the editing, I'll come back. So if this is your first time visiting the Dude RV channel, I do hope I get to see you at the Dillo Days event. 
and if you and, and if you haven't already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. I just that's why I do what I do. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. I am most honored. Those of you who are going to be turning out and meeting me in February, thank you. I, I cannot. I cannot say it enough. Thank you for that honor. And for my patrons, I'm most grateful. You rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?